You good? Good, yeah, you? Amazing. <laughs> Afternoon, everyone. Gary, thank you, eh? Yeah? I'll send it now. It's okay. What do you want? Squad news. I'll send it. Literally, we'll be coming for you any second. Um, so that will be for you shortly. Gary's going to start with the questions. Uh, no social media posting during the broadcast part of the press conference. The Daily's bit is embargoed afterwards till 10.30 tonight. Gary. Joe, say hello. Good afternoon. Thanks for your time. How are you, my friend? Good, thank you. Thank good to see you smiling despite the bad news you've had regarding Harry Kane. That's life. That's football. Of course, bad news. But we have to be positive and we have to look also to the good news. And good news are uh, that before the end of the month, we have two new players, Lloris and Ben Davis. And these are good news. Uh, Lloris never played the game for me. Uh, ben played one and very, very well in a system that we were trying to develop and was only possible with um, with him because he's the one left back that that can play in that inside position because of course Danny Rose is a, a pure left back and Jan Vertonghen is not even left back and Ryan Sessegnon is learning how to be a left back so Ben was very important for um, for our project but then he disappeared after, after West Ham. So it's good news. Uh, by the end of the month, we have these two new players. But of course, uh, Harry is important, is irreplaceable. Uh, there is no player that can replace Harry Kane. And Musa was playing so, so well with, with us. Also, since I arrived, I think one of our best performers. And, uh, you know, the bad news is that um, it's not something like, OK, a couple of weeks and they are back. It's not a couple of weeks and they are back. It's, uh, it's surgery and uh, a long, long time. But uh, I think I never spoke about Lloris in my first two months in here. And if you allow me, I don't know if you are going to allow me, but if you allow me, I would like not to speak about Harry Kane and Musa Sissoko until they are back. So let's try to speak about them everything today because I know that you are desperate to speak about them. How much of a boost will it be to have world class, world cup in the back? I know you've done well for you, but will that be a real boost? It's very important. Uh, captain with Harry. We lose one, it's nice to recover the last one. Experience, the way he plays speaking, because I think it's very, very important for a goalkeeper to play at the same time he speaks. But you are right, we, we have uh, a goalkeeper that is doing his, uh, his best and uh, we have confidence on, on him. But for Hugo to be back after such an important injury is good. And at the same time, for the medical department, opens some space for them. Uh, some people is leaving the medical rooms, some people is, is coming. Is there a, an area in the medical department that has a plate saying Hugo Lloris? Uh, because he's there every day for the past three months. So one out, others in. And I, I know, I know you want to speak about Harry and... Uh, it's normal that everybody wants to speak. I don't want to speak because if I speak too much, I get a bit depressed. And then you are going to say that I am miserable and depressed and uh, in a bad mood. So it's better, it's better to speak about things that make me laugh. Something else that might put you in a, in a bad mood? And don't have any news on him? He's not playing tomorrow. <laughs> He's not playing tomorrow. So the news are not... Uh, are not positive because what we are focused is on the game tomorrow. I know that I know that football doesn't end tomorrow. I know that Tuesday we have a very important game 
for the cup. I know that Saturday we have a very important game for the Premier League again. I know that this coming uh, Champions League in a couple of months, but uh, the focus is on is on tomorrow. And for tomorrow, we don't recover any player from the injury list that we had. I know you're not a big user of the January transfer window historically, and I know I've said that prefer not to dip into the market, but does the situation about the shall not be mentioned change that at all? <laughs> You are a good guy, but I knew that the question was was coming from you or from somebody else. Um, you know, it's not me. I think even even the the coaches without injuries, even the coaches without problems in the squad, even the coaches with the best squads with. Let's say, for example, Jurgen. Even Jurgen, with the best team, with amazing players and amazing squads, he was happy to do a new player. So we are all the same. But the reality is that uh, when I came here two months ago, I knew the situation. I didn't. I didn't knew that. Of course, I was going to lose Harry and Musa for so long. But I knew that the situation was about to try uh, to get the best out of uh, of the players that we have, and that doesn't doesn't change. Uh, so I'm focused on on the work. I'm focused on the game tomorrow. If the boss arrives with a solution that can help us uh, to face these difficult uh, months that we are going to have ahead of us, then then be it. Then welcome. But if we don't find the right solution, the right opportunity, then we are going to wait for uh, for the next uh, summer to try to to make the right decisions for um, the evolution of um, of the team. So let's wait calm. But in this moment, my my focus is total on on the players that we have. Um, Available. That's the way it is. <laughs> Liverpool flying. You have these setbacks that we've <coughs> spoken about. Everyone fancies Liverpool to break a European-wide record tomorrow. Isn't that why you came to football for such a challenge? This game. Of course it is. Um, but this Liverpool situation, uh, when we were colleagues, when I was working with you. I told that Liverpool was going to be champion and this was like three months ago. So for me, the situation they are at is not a surprise uh, for me, period. It's the best team in our, in our competition. Just to say that, I could say more than that. But they are the best, uh, the best team in, uh, in, our, in our Premier League and of course it's a big challenge for us to to play against them. We would prefer to play against them with uh, with everybody available. We would prefer, of course, to have much more options to try to go in a direction that makes us uh, more solid, more happy, uh, more confident. But uh, again, that's the way it is. And uh, we work well during the week and the boys that are available, of course, they are happy to play. And when somebody doesn't play you open an opportunity for somebody, for somebody else, and uh, we know we know the situation. We know how good uh, they are. We can imagine that in this room, uh, probably only two persons think that we can win. We are maybe only two, but we believe. You know, we believe. We have to believe. <laughs> Final if you don't believe, you, f you get out, man. Never. Never. Your final appearance in the Sky Studios was United holding the ball to a draw. You said that Jürgen Klopp didn't like the menu. He wanted meat and he got fish. Are you going to serve up fish? You know, uh, in that moment, I was not uh, 
football coach. I was a pundit. Uh, and that's a different situation. And, uh, and I, I, I made my comment because in that moment I felt that United did very well. And uh, I have been in similar positions of uh, Jurgen now. And uh, I think when you are the best team, the strongest team, and you are used to win and win and win and win and win, the day you don't, come on, praise, praise the guys. And I felt that in, in that match, again, everybody was expecting uh, Liverpool to win the match. United was with some problems. United was not getting uh, good results. And I think in that, in that match, uh, uh, Solskjaer and, and the players, they did a very, very good job to almost win against uh, Liverpool. So after the game, I felt that as a pundit, I should be uh, protective, let's say, of, of the team that had an outstanding effort and honestly, they, they, they could win. Uh, they were very, very close. They were more close to win than to, uh, than to lose. So I think United did a, a very good performance according to, to their potential at, at the time. And as a pundit, I, I decided to be on their side and not on, on the strongest side. And if anyone can stop Liverpool, it's you. You've done it before. No, not me. Not me. I never stopped Liverpool. My teams... Sometimes they did it, but uh, but not but not me. So, Jose, hello. You mentioned only two people think you could <coughs> Liverpool tomorrow. Is that Don't tell me you are the third. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. You've done it at Anfield in 2014. Is, is this still similar? That famous game when you had a lot of injuries and Gerard slips. No, we didn't have lots of injuries. We had a Champions League semi-final to play two days after, and we had to play. We had to play Liverpool while Atletico Madrid was playing on a Friday. But that is, that is English football. That's, that's what it is. Uh, we are going to have some, some couple of weeks without football. But then, but then um, as, uh, R um, not Salzburg, Leipzig is going to play on a Friday. And we are going to play against Aston Villa on a Sunday. That's, that's the way it is. And that was what happened at, at that time. Nothing to do with, with injuries. In this moment, we have lots of injuries. But again, uh, if I think about the injuries, if I think about who is not playing, I'm not as confident and motivated as, as I am. So I have to focus on what we did during the week. The enthusiasm that the boys put in, in the work, the motivation that you must have to play against the best teams. Because when you play against the best teams, or you, or you are confident or you are not confident. If you are not confident, it's better to stay at home. If you are confident, it's not going to be easy. But you are confident and you go with everything you have. And that's what uh, I want the boys to do. We go with everything we have. Jurgen Klopp said this morning that his team's going to be unpredictable. What do you think he's planning? I think he has so much in his hands that he can be what he wants. He can be unpredictable. He can be what he wants. He can play with Firmino as a 9. He can play with Firmino as a 10. He can play with Sal and Mane uh, wide. He can play with Sal and Mane strikers with Firmino dropping back. He can play Shakiri and decide to change lots of things. He can play Origi. He, can, he, he has so many things to do. He can do so many things that, yes, he can be, he can be unpredictable, yes. It's more difficult for somebody that plays against them exactly because they have the potential to that unpredictability. Um, and you mentioned about Daniel Levy finding solutions in the transfer market. Have you given him a list of players? Do you plan on giving him a list of players? No, 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 no. This is not about a list of players, you know. The January market is a strange market. It's not an easy market to be, 
uh, to be in. I don't think it is an easy one. It's a market of opportunities. It's a market where uh, uh, an opportunity arises and you have the conditions to do it or, or not to do it. So we have to be calm and not to think about the market. Let, let the market think about us. James. Jose, games like this in the media are billed as Klopp against Mourinho. In big games like this, do you feel the spotlight, the cameras and all eyes on you? In the, day? Uh, the cameras I feel because they are going to be in, on my face. <laughs> I walk on the tunnel, the camera will be on my face. Uh, even before the game finished, the camera is on my face. These guys, these guys is 24 hours per day. <laughs> Only when I go to the toilet, they are not coming with me. A part of that, they are always with me. But of, of course, you feel it, but disturb it. Only Amazon disturbs me, not, not the cameras on, on match day. I have no time to think about it. So, of course, it's not me against Jurgen or Jurgen against me. <coughs> Big match. Tottenham, Liverpool. Let's enjoy it. Finally, for me, how much influence can you have when you're on the touchline or? in the dugout, or is most of the work done Monday to Friday? I believe it's more on Monday to Friday. I always think that uh, during the week, uh, I always win. I always feel that I win easy. <laughs> and I think every manager feels the same because the way you, you work, uh, the way you think, you, what you project, the exercises that you find, the way you work with the players, you always feel that you are going to, to win, then the match has a different, has a different story. And uh, can we have influence during the game? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Sometimes the game comes in your direction and you have to do things and uh, it works and sometimes you can affect the game. But I think since the moment the referee whistle for the first time, I think unpredictable, and the boys are the ones, not us. Let's go. Back there. I'm talking about that, about the practice and the performance. Are you happy with the way that the players are putting in practice your philosophy? Two months now working with them? Are you... It's not to work working with them. It's not two. It's not two months. It's it's a few days. Two months with them, but not two months working with them on the pitch. I think it was the second week that we had the possibility to work on on the pitch. It was the the second week on these maybe eight weeks that I'm I'm here. We basically we. We, we don't train. We did it this week. We did it uh, previous week some, some time ago. And a part of that, no time to work. So it's not, about, it's not about two months. So of course, I'm not happy. Of course, I want uh, to improve so many, so many things. It has to, be, has to be step by step. As I was saying in, uh, in the other day, I arrived December, right? November. November. I think you're going to arrive in Liverpool on October, if I'm not wrong. October, five years ago. Uh, so, step by step, calm. We have to go calm. Okay, go one from Ali here. In, yeah, okay, Ali. Jose, uh, Roy Hodgson said today that Crystal Palace are working hard to bring in Carl Walker-Peters. Just wondering what the situation was from your side. If uh, Mr. Roy told that, I'm not going to deny. But I don't know. Of course I believe in him. Of course if he says that, it's because Crystal Palace is, uh, is trying to do it, he's working on it. Um, and I will wait for news coming from from my boss. So I I will wait. But it's, it's good to know that Roy, Mr. Roy, um, 
is open about it and don't try to don't try to hide so if they have that objective of course i will be informed by by my people if you have to replace it though i have another right back coming let me let me wait uh, let me wait for news in, in this moment is interest no uh, is nothing nothing done so let's let's wait Take one here and then finish with Charlie. One, please. Okay. Thanks, Jose. <coughs> Tottenham as a team, do you yourself have a history with the spoiling, spoiling of parties, like by winning uh, against teams with the unbeaten runs or winning run? Is that a bit more challenge for you in this match facing Liverpool? No. No. I don't remember if I stop any unbeaten. I don't know. I remember that uh, one day Manchester United stopped my team and beatable run of I think 12 months or 13 months or something like that. Uh, I also remember that uh, I think it was Sunderland that stopped my and beaten run of uh, years and years and years of not losing a a match at home, so I, rem I remember more the teams that stop my runs than me stopping runs. I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about that. Charlie, to finish. How differently does the team need to attack without Harry Kane? And the team? Sorry to mention. <laughs> I think that's something that I'm not happy to. To tell you, I, I I like the question. I would I would also make that question if I was in there, but it's something that ask the Amazon guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Yep. Uh, it has to be different. We don't have another one. There is not a there is not a striker in the squad. Is is easy? No, isn't. We have only one. Is not. We don't have another one. So, I think you know that, and that's why your question is coming. You know that you cannot play like we normally play when Harry Kane is is in the team. You know that. That's why your answer come. So the only thing I can tell you that is that, of course, we cannot do the same way we we do with Harry. Right. Okay. We have the cameras off now, please. Thank you. Thank you.